everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Power of Her Story, where we are curating and celebrating the journey of women from around the world. Life is a journey of people, places, and perspectives. And today, our journey takes us all the way into the bluff, North Eleuthera in the Bahamas to meet another wonderful young woman who is worthy to be celebrated today. She is just an awesome powerhouse. She's doing a significant work in North Eleuthera, Eleuthera on the whole, the Bahamas and the world. And, uh, you know, when I tell you this age, you're probably very, very surprised to see how much she is doing at such a young age. And I just want to take this time just to read a little bit of uh, Aldora Neely, our guest for today, a little bit of her bio, so you get to become as familiar with her as I am. And she has written here for us. She is the owner of Dreams Beauty Loft and the president of the Dreams Conference. Her background is in accounts and human resources management field, where she's worked in that field for approximately 10 years until she resigned last year, April, to follow her dreams as a full-time entrepreneur. She is all about women, woman empowerment, and she has what it has here. I have a human resources management certification. And she's also a certified massage therapist and my other career certificates in health and wellness. She is from the Bluffy Luthra. She is 31 years old and her hobbies are reading, traveling, and her company, Dreams Consulting Services, to where she assists other women to start their own business. Now, that was a whole mouthful. I was trying to get over some of the tongue twisters in there because it's just so many things as a human resources management background accounts uh just so much things and but she's using that to help her help others within her community and around the world i want you to help me welcome to rbn tv studio and to the power of her story miss aldora neely let's hear it for aldora neely welcome 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 How are you today? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good night. I'm well, and yourself? I am wonderful. It's just a pleasure and a delight to see you once again. I think it's been a good bit of years, probably almost close to about 20 years since I perhaps was in yes, North Eleuthera. And it is just such a privilege to see how you are growing and glowing. And today we're just going to get right into it. Now you shared a little bit about Aldora Neely from a career standpoint. Tell us about the woman that people don't get to see. Well, the short end bio that you, uh, that you started on with me. Um, like you said, my name is Aldora Neely. I was born and raised in the settlement of Bluffy Luthra. I am the third child of four children to the parents of Douglas and Sarah Neely. Um, I have, like you said, I have a background in accounts and human resource management. I also deal with health and wellness, weight loss management. And I also, I am the proud president of the Dreams Conference, which is a conference of women empowerment. Hmm. Well, that is definitely very, very much what I wanna talk about, women empowerment. What got you into that field of women empowerment? What is it that said, I need to help women around the world? Um, what really sparked my interest was me always having that desire to start a business, be in business, but no one out there was giving you any information. You couldn't Google it online to find a what path or road or direction that you needed to go in to start a business. There weren't much women supporting women. And I just feel like if we empowered each other more, we supplied each other more with information and surrounded each other more, that we could be so much of a powerhouse and create more opportunities and open more doors for other women. So now once I on looked at that, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. 
when, once I looked at that and I was like, I just sat back and I was like, I'm going to do this. If I have to start it off by myself without any support team, someone one day is going to hear my story. Someone else is going to support me and be there for me to understand what it is that I want to do and see my dream and support other women. Now, what you have said here and shared here is very important. You spoke about education and empowerment and the support of other women. How have you found that to be since you've started getting into women empowerment, uh, women supporting women? Um, I found it to be a great necessity. Um, you would be surprised how much women out there want to start businesses, want to do any other stuff, uh, but they just don't know which direction to go in. They may think it's a long process. They may think like uh, they don't know what to do, where to start. But once I started with them and I told them the direction to go in as far as starting them with business license, finding vendors, assisting them, whatever direction that they wanted to go in, giving them, you know, consulting with them first. First of all, I would start out with a business consultation with them, finding out their insight of what they wanted to do, what they were really interested in. And letting them know that they didn't have to leave their nine to find five job if they didn't wish to start their business. They could have, this is something that they could have done on the side because you have some people that would want to go full force into entrepreneurship. Then you have some people who want to build that stability first and mm -hmm. then move on. So how have the response been for women in Eleuthera? And is it only Eleuthera markets you're catering to in terms of um, providing consultancy work um, for entrepreneurs? No, um, I, supp I supply entrepreneurship consultation to locally, to other family islands, and also internationally. I have been in contact with ladies in Virginia, Washington, and Florida as well. Oh, that is excellent. So you're really global. The yes. <laughs> the response has been really good, you know, um, and they refer me to other women and they also tell other persons about me. Then you have some persons that want to get started right away. And then you have some people who want to get started from a year from now. But I always stay in contact with them, find out how they're doing. I go beyond just assisting them with opening a business other they also open up with many other stuff as well and you know i am also there as a support system for them as well so who has been your support system who believed in your dream and got you started well my my mom my mom and my grandmother they have always been my support team they've always surrounded me and gave me love and told me never to give up on my dreams and push me and support me. And they have, I mean, literally been my everything days when I didn't, I wanted to give up and didn't know which direction to go in and may my grandmother's soul rest in peace. She always prayed for me. And first of all, she always told me to put God first, anything that I wanted to do, any plans that I wanted to do, go to God and seek his approval first. And I would know just what to do. Wow, I do remember Miss Brenda very, very vividly, very clearly. And uh, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but hold on, most of all, I remember that good cooking and that good food up there in North Eleuthera. I trust that you, you can cook as well as your grandmother can <laughs> and your mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you talked about reaching and touching the lives of women um, throughout the United States, as well as around the Bahamas, particularly other family islands. I love to hear that because, you know, for for us being in the Bahamas, Nassau being um, the central uh, of everything and the hub of everything, usually sometimes people feel left out, they feel neglected. How can I get this done? How can I get the other thing done? And so how has the response been from women in the other family islands to know that they have a support system and someone who is there for them to guide them through this process? It's been it's been really, really good. Really, really good. The only thing has been really slowing down the process right now with the pandemic, 
But mm -hmm. the ladies they, that I've been in contact with in the other family islands, they've been really excited, really ready to push. Even through the pandemic, I've still been there supporting them and finding ways and ideas. If it's not like a business that they want to supply where they have to come up with funding, I suggested them to, you know, see if there's a service that they're good at. You know, the, the service doesn't really require any um, funding. If you know you can do like a delivery service for right now, mm -hmm. um, a pick up and go or do something right now just to, you know, support that dream. Mm -hmm. I don't want really to say, well, hey, OK, you don't have the funding right now. Let's leave it there. Let's shut it down. Don't worry about it. Whenever you get the money, get back to me. No, it's not like that. We find other means and other ways to help support them. I've already been, even if I had to support them myself financially, I've been there to assist them where I can uh -huh. and in the best way possible. Because people, most people just need that person to believe in them. They just want someone, if it's just one person sometime to believe in their dream and tell them that they could do it and don't give up. And they see that constant support. And uh -huh. that, that is taking the ladies very very long way okay so we talk about economic empowerment we talk about um well economic empowerment through entrepreneurship we talk about education we talk about a support system so let's transition a little bit and as the owner president and founder of um, dreams consulting and also dreams conference what was that journey like to from when you started to where you're at, what challenges did you have to overcome? Well, some of the challenges that I had to overcome was people really believing in my story, that what I wanted to bring to them, a lot of people wasn't prepared for change. They wasn't really, they really didn't understand the platform that I was trying to bring and especially starting off with my island, you know, um, certain people, certain islands, people are set in their ways. And when you bring something different and you bring change, a lot of people are like, mm, I don't really need this. My business is already grown. I've already made X, Y, Z. But what are you, what is your business doing for other persons in the community? I think it should be a domino effect when you have a business or you're a business owner. You should be able to pass the baton or to mm -hmm. someone else, another younger business owner to let them know, hey, this is the secret to the sauce that I've been making all these years. Um, let me tell you what's happening. Let me tell you what's going on. And I had a hard time with people opening up and doing that. I'm still having a little, you know, issues, but people are more receiving of it now because a lot of people are starting to understand the importance of empowering one another and mm -hmm. having that support system. And, you know, without leaving this earth, without, you know, serving your purpose. You know, everyone has a purpose on this earth. And if we could just all do better with finding our purposes and passing the help on to someone else, the world would be a much better place. And so true in what you have said. Now at the age of 31, what do you see as your purpose? Well, as I see my purpose is to be like myself being a, Myself, sorry, uh, myself being a single mom, my goal and dream is to one day open up a charitable foundation uh, for single mom that they are able to come to that place, receive love, receive support, and to have that support system where everyone could let them know that they're capable of achieving something, you know, because being a single mom, it was my issue, you know, finding funding, finding people to babysit my kids, you know, finding a safe environment for my kids to be in. So thank God for my mother, my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I had someone that was there to take care of my kids when I wanted to go out and do my studies, but everybody doesn't have that support system. And there are a lot of ladies out there can accomplish so much more if they just have that support team. So what that foundation would do, you would have somewhere to bring your kids 24 hours, no matter what time you have classes, school, work. We will try to make a setting where you can have a job, 
you have someone to babysit your kids, you have a preschool and nursery in that arena, and then you will also provide scholarships. So that is my ultimate long-term goal to provide that environment for single mothers. Well, that is definitely an awesome goal to achieve because, you know, as we know, our society has a lot of single mothers. Most households are headed um, by a woman. And so what you are offering to the community of the Bahamas at large is an opportunity to not have an excuse, not have an excuse to achieve your goals and dreams. And you're, you're you're putting in the safety net and the safety measures that allows them to say, okay, I can go deep. I can dive in deep and, and not be afraid because I have an Aldora Neely who is there. She's maybe at the shoreline or maybe she's in the deep with me holding my hand to ensure that all goes well. And, you know, as you shared, a, a number of thoughts came to mind again, in dealing with women. Women can be a little bit challenging because we tend to be more, we lean to emotions than we do to, to logic. And, you know, you shared earlier about, um, I guess, causing women to, to now create an environment of support for each other. And have you found that they still did not ascribe to, to, to that logic? that when we work together, that we can build bigger, build better together. Because, you know, they always say we women have, um, you know, the, the, the cat syndrome. We always clawing at each other. Who's better, mm -hmm. who's prettier, who's smarter, all the rest. How do you address that when you find women come into your circle who think that way? Well, that is always a challenge because... Even when I first started, and I still feel like that sometimes to this day, you have to be a part of a certain circle. Your name have to hit certain rooms. You have to be associated with certain people for you to reach the top, uh, for, your, for your business to be recognized, for you to be recognized as whole. You have to be a part of a certain circle. But when I book people like that, I don't shut them down. You know, I press on. I let the authentic Aldora stay to, true to who I am. And mm -hmm. I feel like if I always stay true to who I am, I will overcome any situation. And dealing with a woman that may feel like, oh, I come to take a spot or take her place. Some people will never change that mindset. And that is not a battle for me to fight. That's something mm -hmm. they will have to fight internally. But I will always stand my ground and be true to who I am and to my purpose. I love this confident woman that I am talking to today. But did you always believe in yourself? Was this always the Adora? No. Tell us. No. What was it like? No. Who, who, who was this other woman? <laughs> this is the um, this is the evolved Aldora. This is the new profound um, way for Aldora because I used to be so angry. I used to be so frustrated. I used to be so lost. Um, didn't know which direction to take. I didn't know where to go. And, you know, every situation when I bucked a hurdle, I felt like giving up and I didn't want to go back. I didn't even, I got to the point where I didn't even want to look myself in the mirror you know you have people telling you oh why don't you smile or you're so beautiful and what what's what's the problem um but deep down inside I was fighting with something with myself because I didn't know who I was I didn't know my purpose I didn't know which direction or road I was taking like what am I here for I'm um I just felt lost and then going back to, like I told you, my su support system. And then you have some women that don't have support system. So some women aren't as strong to overcome certain things and evolve and get better. But I always prayed. That was my number one key. Because then, you know, you have your support system, but there's certain things that you don't want to tell your family. You know, you feel like all your life you've disappointed them. I was a, um, a teenage mom. 
I felt like that was a disappointment because, you know, your parents, they want you to go off to college. They want you to get your degree. And not saying that that stopped me, but to, in, in certain homes, that was like a disappointment because everybody in the community is grew up in a small community. Everyone's talking, but I always prayed. I always talked to God. So any woman out there that feels lost or, or no, don't know what to do or don't know your purpose, God is the number one answer. He is the head of everything and the direction of my life. And without him, I don't think I would be here today to sit and have this conversation with you because there were points in my life where I wanted to take my life because I was so depressed and I didn't know, like, Aldora, you're just a failure. You know, you're, you're failing at everything you do. You're failing at relationships. You're letting everyone down. You're letting these children down, what you brought into this world. Like, what are you here for? You're just wasting your time. You know, just take your life and just just get over with it. Don't don't worry about nothing else. You'll be better off and everybody around you will be better off not having you here. That was the point of depression I was at. But praying and my family praying for me and protecting me, I overcome so much. And I am here today to actually sit and have this conversation with you and just manifesting everything that I want. And I don't, I am not going to sit here and just make it seem like, oh, everything was always good and pretty and dandy. No, I came from a long, a long, long, long way. Plenty ups and downs, plenty failed moments, plenty no's and doors closed in my face. Um, There was days when I couldn't find food. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, I was on a different island and not that I couldn't come back home, but I knew that there was always something greater in me. I always had a greater purpose. So it was like something that was always hitting me in the back of my head. Don't give up. No matter how you may feel, don't give up. Keep striving, you know, keep pushing. There's someone out there that needs to know that you're going to, they're going to be okay. So if anyone may see you and may look at me and may say, oh, she's okay. But deep down inside, it was never okay. But like I said, prayer, and my support system and just manifesting everything that I want. I am I am so happy and I thank God for for allowing me to, you know, to overcome that. And it was me knowing that I have a greater purpose because he still allowed me here today because there are so many other persons that were in my situation who are still going through depression, who are still angry and still don't know, you know, what to do. So I just would want to encourage anyone to just don't give up. I was just about to say to you while you're in that vein of, of, of I call it to, to speaking about your life and what you overcome, I want you to continue. I want you to encourage a woman or anyone for that matter who may be watching this show who still find themselves lost, who still find themselves in depression, who still may find themselves having suicidal thoughts. You know, like you, you're in the beauty industry and so the external always, you know, it's on point and everything else is good. But on the inside, um, the, the, the darkness that's on the inside that you're fighting with and you're trying to come out every day to make people believe everything is okay, what do you say to that person at this time who may be watching you? Please encourage them right now. Like, I, just to piggyback of what I was saying earlier, just continue to pray. Talk to God. You know, what I, what I started doing, I started looking, first of, first of all, I identified the issues that I was having. You know, and I talked to myself and I looked myself in the mirror and I was like, I am not going to give up. So any woman that's feeling depressed or, or don't know what to do, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Someone out there needs to hear your story. Someone out there needs to hear your testimony. So the, just, just don't give up. If you want to talk to somebody, reach out to someone who you feel that you could confide in. Or like I said, just go on your knees and pray and talk to God and just ask him to guide you and protect you and lead you. Make affirmations that you are beautiful, you are successful, you are strong, you are a overcomer. 
and that you are born for greatness, that you will walk in rooms and that room will tremble. You, you will be the best that you can be. You know, that you are loved, that someone is out there waiting to love you correctly. You know, some people be in bad relationships. Mm -hmm. And I just was studying this thing the other day, like in the beauty field and that it, it really, it really, you know, nudged me a little bit because being in the beauty field, hairdressers, barbers, estheticians, massage therapists, you would, you would never realize that how, how your, how your clients or customers confide in you. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of people that, that are in domestic violence situations, you know, and they use that time when they come to get their hair done or to the bob or for massage or manicure, pedicure. They use that time to, you know, to confide into their, to that person that's providing that service to them because they need someone to open up to. So when you're in the beauty field, you're also a consultant. You're also a therapist. So you, you, you have become so much and that really opened up my eyes to see that hey we we have to continue to support each other and just be a listening air so i would want to continue to let them know that to work on their dreams and don't give up so what's next for you on this journey aldora what's next i know you're doing your consulting and then you have the D dreams conference. When is the next dreams conference? So we can let women know where to meet you and how to find you. Okay. Uh, my Facebook page is the um, dreams beauty law. And it's the same thing for Instagram is at dreams beauty law. Uh, my email is address is dreams beauty law at 242 at hotmail.com. That's dreams beauty law. 242 at hotmail.com. And if anyone else wants to contact me by a telephone, it is 808-5002. Well, we're also it. working on mm -hmm. our business scholarship as well. We have found our winner and we are going to be working on that as well. So any persons that are following our page for Dreams mm -hmm. Beauty Consultant, we'll be bringing out our business scholarship for Eleuthera. And then we'll also be Later down in the year, we'll be making posters for the other family islands to support women in business. Excellent. I am just so excited. And I just cannot wait as I continue to support you and what it is that you're doing in Eleuthera and around the Bahamas and the world at large. I applaud you. The power of her story. We celebrate you and all that you're doing. You are indeed a woman worthy of honor today. I am so excited and delighted to know that I know you. And like they would say, when you get to Hollywood, don't forget me. Because yes, you are destined for greatness. There is greatness in you. And I expect to see your name in headlines around the world as you're making a difference in the lives of women. And we need it. Women empowerment is so much more than, you know, the independent woman syndrome, I call it. It is much more than that. It is being able to be all that God has called you to be. And that's what women empowerment really is, is to find yeah. you and be all that God has called you to be. People make it this big scientific thing. It is as simple as that. What is the purpose, yeah. what is the assignment God has in your life? And be that, that's where the beauty, that's where the peace, that's where the joy, all of these things come into play because you're becoming who God called you to be. And so you are helping women do that. And like we say, it's women helping women win. And you're doing that through your life nuggets because you know, sometimes in life we look at each other's journey and we, sometimes we compare ourselves and we tend to do that as women and we compare ourselves but our journeys are unique and they're unique for a purpose because who Aldara is called to is not the same group or same persons that Raquel is called to but I have a purpose and a mandate to fulfill and I ought to be about my father's business by doing just that and that is what you're doing in Eleuthera and through the family islands and like I said and the world at large you are carrying out a fulfilling purpose 
by helping other women um, become all that God has called them to be and fulfilling their dreams. It's, it's no wonder, I mean, such a fitting name, Dreams Consulting and Dreams Conference, where all the vision and everything that God has placed on the inside, you are now bring, causing that to be manifested and to become real, a tangible something. It's just nothing abstract any longer. And so once again, Adora, we celebrate you. We celebrate the difference that you're making in the community, the difference you're making around the world. And so from the power of her story, we say thank you for sharing. I know only a snippet of your story. There's so much more to Aldora, but because of time, not because of information or anything else, um, we will now be wrapping up our show. So once again, Aldora, please tell us where we can find you. Um, give us those links and those numbers once again. So any woman who's listening, in from the Bahamas throughout the region, United States. If you need someone, you need a support system, you don't, you have a dream and you're not sure how to go about it, find Aldora and Dreams Consulting and she will be willing and able, as you can see, to be able to assist you in realizing those dreams. So tell us again where we can find you and all of your contacts. Okay. You can find me on as uh, dreams off and dreams business consultant and it's the same on instagram the dreams beauty loft or the dreams conference uh, my telephone contact is 242-808-5002 and my email address is dreams beauty loft 242 at hotmail.com Wonderful. Thank you so much. And you've been tuned in to The Power of Her Story, a uh, production of the RBN TV studio. And we're delighted that you would have joined us today to hear from another one of our powerful women here in the Bahamas by the name of Aldora Neely from the Bluff, North Eleuthera in the Bahamas. And we are delighted that our journey has taken us to Eleuthera today, where we are able to learn about her journey. And a part of those nuggets that we got is about economic empowerment through entrepreneurship, talking about educating ourselves as women, and also uh, purpose and prayer. Those were key as well. And to always find a support system. And if you don't have one, Dreams Beauty Loft, Dreams Consulting, Dreams Conference, they want to be that support system for you. So feel free to watch us every Monday at 6 p.m. here on RBN TV Studio. Feel free to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, join us every Monday, actually every day, on RBN TV Studio on our YouTube channel. It's been my pleasure and delight to be your host. And I look forward to seeing you again for another wonderful, powerful show as we continue to celebrate and curate the journey of women from around the world. God bless you and see you again real soon. Sing.